Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the Mizamo motions into iClone 8 3D animation software to make it become the RL motions, what we call the icon motion file, and be ready to apply in any of the iClone avatar. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description. Here I have a link for you to enter the Mizamo. Just have a click. You will enter the Mizamo website. Right. Right. You must make sure you log in your Mizamo by using your Gmail account or Google account or any other methods just to make sure you log in. Next, go to the character. In the character, you scroll down, click the third page, and then click the export to make sure you have the export. And then next, click download and click download. Here, this is the t-post, you click download. Right. After you download it, it will be in your download folder. Just right click here. This is the file explorer. Enter the download folder. This here, the export. Next, you must make sure you have both the iClone and also Character Cradle 4. This is iClone 8. I already have an avatar. It's waiting to apply the Mizamo motions. All right. In your Mizamo, you go and search any of the motion that you want. For example, I search for MMA kick. All right. Here, this is the wrong place. You have to go to the animation first before you search it. Here, you search MMA kick. And press enter and let's say I want to have this motion this is the MMA kick click download and then all this setting with skins 30 frames per second the key reduction none FBX binary click download it will download it as an FBX file as well now it is downloading once finished download you can close the Mizamo and then you can see the MMA kick already inside the download folder. I right click, refresh, the MMA kick is here. Next, you open your character creator 4. Then, drag in the export. Choose character, non-human, non humanoid. Here, apply. The profile detected for auto conversion, you have to choose the Mizamo default character. Then click OK. Next, in your download folder, your motion file, this is the MMA kick, drag it into your character. And then the motion profile, you, you must make sure it is current character, auto generate to perform list, you click convert all, tick both, and then click proceed. Next, export it as iAvatar, click file, export as iAvatar, export it. Export it on my desktop. This is export. This is export with MMA kick. Then click save. Now it already become an I avatar. So next we are going to export export the motion from there. So just have a look. Drag in drag in the I avatar into iClone. Right click it. Choose the perform. And then you have the you have the perform list, for example, MMA kick mizamo.com. Right. Next, in your icon 7, click here to look at the timeline. You scroll down. Once you already selected this avatar, you should be able to see the, the motions. Mizamo kick, the MMA kick mizamo.com. You right click it. Then you can save it. So here you have to find save motion clip to save. As demo, I'm going to save it on my desktop and I will just name this as MMA kick. It will save as the iClone motion file. I'll save it. And next, I can double click this avatar and press delete button to delete it and close the timeline. Now back to the frame zero. Back, click here back to the frame zero. Now you can see this avatar we not yet apply any of the motion file, but now the iClone motion file already on my desktop. 
you can see this is a revolution motion file mma kick dot rl motion drag in into any of your avatar and release your mouse now you can see it already can apply in this avatar so we already successfully imported the Mizamo motions as iClone motion file and apply in any of the iClone avatar. All right. Now that's all for today about how to import the Mizamo motions to make it become the iClone motion file to apply in any avatar in iClone 8. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you'll receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!